Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to some more Alchemist Code. So I am going to make this into a series just because of how fun the game is. I do now have my username up, so you guys can go ahead and add me as friends. There's no guild system at the moment. I'm pretty sure that's probably to be like a future thing. So, yeah. I did figure out a lot of things since I last ended that stream. So, let's talk about the things I figured out. So, enhancement system. The whole equipment thing is pretty much like games where you would get like these multiple like materials of like weapons, put them in there and just go to the next stage. Like how do I explain it? So, it's basically similar to games that are like um, Hero Charge or what are some other examples I can think of? Girls X Battle. So pretty much you just find these gears and put them in here. Once you get all six gears, you can go ahead and job up. I've already put in all the rest of my limit breaks, so now I can click on the whole Spearman thing. I can't actually use it right now, considering it's not unlocked yet. I think I got a level up or something. So I figured that out. I think this is the only game that actually tries to implement jobs and changing like a certain character around to like different choices. Not only that, you can change some of their skills and abilities around as well. So I'm pretty sure it is like the whole tactics advance thing where you can level up one character, then you would get one skill, then it would go to the rest of the class that it was on. Like, let's say for example, I think it was White Mage that was a healer inside of uh, Advanced Tactics, you would get like a really good like buff, buffing skill from them and you could put it into other white mages or anything that is like healing related. I think it's kind of like that so far, but I haven't got into the story yet. So let's go ahead and do some story. I've been wanting to hold off on story as much as I could. Uh, First things first, we're definitely going to be changing this team around. Um, I don't know why it's sourced by acquired. Definitely want her, and I've leveled these guys up. I haven't leveled them up in like adventure. I've leveled them up inside of like events. I've just been sitting there doing events. So in story. You level this character up. Outside of story, you can't level this character up at all. So that's a little bit weird. But I kind of get where they're going with that. Kind of. Because he is a story character. He stays within the story. It's it's really weird. Uh, we have a whole bunch of weak people in here. I guess we're just trying to... Uh, I don't know. It's a whole bunch of weak people. They have not, like, changed out at all. They've just been those same people every time I go into a raid. I haven't seen any, like, higher level people or anything changing all that much. Oh, so they don't actually speak right now. So what we're doing. Huh? Oh, so a stranger appears. Oh my god. Oh, so she was pretty much like the character that acts like a big sister. Oh. Wait, ordered by who?
Oh, the king, I guess. Wait, what? She's a nun? She doesn't... I guess they have a different design for nuns instead of traditional ones we have. Uh, uh, she kind of hit the nail on the noggin right there. I won't lie, she called him out pretty good. <laughs> All right. Let's see how they all form up. Oh, there's a chest over there. Oh, is it just one dude? So, I did just notice there was a, like this. I noticed this yesterday when I stopped recording that you can use like a little controller to move them instead. Or you can click and tap them down. It's like really weird. So, I'm gonna keep her right there. Gonna turn right here. As for our level D buffer here. All right, he's too far out of reach. We want to actually just stop. Okay, there are some like skills in here that can really damage your team. Like, huh? Who would I use as an example? I'm gonna leave you right there. You can't come down the stairs and get behind me. That I know of. Like this. If your character's in a way, she's gonna be the one getting hit. Not this character. So I'm gonna show you guys an example. Yep. But you still get that mana off of it, so. It still works out. But if you're actually trying to just, like, I guess trying to damage them on purpose with like tax right in front of you uh it won't actually go off so let's say i want to attack this friend i can't it won't let me so it's pretty much like range attacks or magic attacks or x it's pretty much like accidental system where you attack by accident and it's out of your control if it's within your control, then yeah, they probably won't let it happen. There we go. So I get, I need to get to level eight. Okay, that does. Okay, why am I going for rock sauce? I am not a Pokemon. I should not be trying to go for that. You can't really get off of here, buddy. I feel bad for you. Not really. As for this, this won't go out well since he's in the way. But what I can do... Is this. Since you'll come up like sooner or later. I wonder, hold up. Is there like a back? Yeah, there is. Let's go over here. Change the map around. It does really remind you of. Uh, 
War of Crown, if you guys have played it a little bit. It's just like, it has a different system. Especially when it comes to gears. Instead of gears being like actual, like, equipment you equip, it's more of like just material you put in just to upgrade your character. Plus stop, huh? So this is the debuff character. I'm going to blind him. Oh, it's bad enough to miss. You're definitely going to miss now. Yeah, I can't really do anything right there. That's the sad part. So I'm going to have to leave him right here. Since her jump is not very good, it's going to take a while. Alright, there we go. Since he's blind, I get a more successful chance of, like, actually hitting him. Yeah, I guess a really bad XP, though. Doesn't seem like it's really going up. Plus, your characters can't go past your, um... Your player level, so which really does suck. So it kind of limits you to your player level. I'm gonna take her. I used a sniper, well, somebody's sniper, like earlier. It wasn't actually half bad because he has pretty much unlimited range. And make sure I'm not in the way. go up oh, nope we're interrupted all right this idiot he's one of those characters that are literally just itching for a fight every time and get either gets his ally killed or he nearly gets himself killed every time Actually, I'm gonna sit up here. So there is like height advantage. Even tells you your height. I'm pretty sure this is speed up, right? Gotta sit there. Um, let's get some points off him. Oh, we're already full points. I just noticed that. Okay, never mind. Guess we'll just block off all his ways. We can hit him diagonal. So, he's out. No, you're the only person left, buddy. What are you gonna do now? That didn't hurt. This is only a flesh wound. Can't attack him from right there. We're gonna weaken him so I can go get this chest. Ah, uh, you gave me a character that can literally just kill him right now. I'm gonna go get this chest first. Not sure what's in it, but you know, chest. Well, I can't really kill him with this right now, so. Hmm. 
Ow. Ah, I gotta hold it off. Come on. Go get the chest. Thank you. You can't attack the chest in to open it. I've already tried. It doesn't work that way, sadly. Even though I wish it did. Alright, now she's charging. It's probably going to take her one turn to do that. And this is an area skill, so if he moves from there, I'm pretty sure it's a miss. Crap. Gotta move up one. Actually, I have to move back. So, that skill won't be useful. That won't either. So, up one more. Okay, there we go. So now he's damaged. Goodbye, buddy. You fought well, but not well enough. Alright, we finally leveled up. I want to at least get to level 8 in this video, so let's keep rushing on. Be more difficult. Uh, well, since we do have things we can put in to her, let's go for it. Now you guys saw earlier we can equip these. Now that we're the right level, we can equip them. Oh, I gotta craft these? Oh, darn it. So it is like materials you gotta craft it too. Or you can craft it. Uh, let's go here. Put this on. Uh, we have to craft this. Only have one of those though. That's the sad part. Do I need it for anything else? No, I don't. So I can craft it. Since these characters are going to be the ones I'm going to roll with for a while. I do have to get to level 10. Just because I gotta finish these challenges that I'm getting. <laughs> I also get XP from all these story quests, so that helps as well. <laughs> After doing these dailies, I jumped up to level 9, Jesus. Alright. So, doing quests, your daily quests also, like, speeds up the process. So now... I have to enhance the ally. I've been farming the um, XP dungeon. Now I can put those on. Boom. Job level up. And that's pretty much how it goes. You just put on all the equipment and just keep job leveling. To make the job stronger. Your max job level is 11. I can't change here because I think I need these um, spearmen tokens. So once I get all the spearmen tokens, I can put all six of them in and unlock the job. But this last one, the Holy Cavalier, I can't use until I get her to 15 limit break. Which right now I am at um, 10, I believe. Or is it 5? I'm not sure because I unlocked this one. Hmm. I guess I'm at 5 right now. I need 10 more. But yeah, once I get to Ho Holy Cavalier, I can go ahead and open that one. And the more you upgrade your, like, categories, the more abilities you get. So let's go here and level her up. She is leveled. One more. And now I can go ahead and put those in. Now I've unlocked Clock Resist. 
I can't really look at clock resist. Since the game won't let me. So, yeah. I really think there should be like a hold system where you can just hold it or click it just to see the ability, but I don't think there is. I think you have to actually go inside like a match and actually see it. Alright, so I unlocked another thing. Overclock allows a target unit to take his or her turn immediately. Okay. So this character messes with time. Ignore the sounds, okay? Now I gotta up everything. So this is our healer right now. And I'm out of like skill points, so apparently the game runs on skill points. So it is using the old systems that other games use, it's just in like a more unique way that they've like started to use it. Which is really interesting, and I do like. Uh, let's equip that. craft this and put that on then we're gonna enhance now we're gonna up our job so now that that's upped who else are we looking at right now it's you you guys are wondering what is all behind me. This is how high they can jump, how many spaces they can move, their combo luck and everything. But when you click on it, it tells you way better of what they do. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I wish I knew what tune up was. So, we're gonna do one more match. Then, we're gonna end there. So, there is also multiplayer where you can play with other players and make those rooms. Um, I'm pretty sure it, it kind of reminds me of, um, uh, what was it? Brave Frontiers like party system where you can recruit other players and play in like this mass like map and you guys are supposed to make it to towards the end then you guys are supposed to fight an uh, end boss together I'm not really sure I just don't want to join it yet because I don't know what the like skill cap is right now so I'm going to be safe and wait until I get to a high level, then I'm going to join in those. I'm pretty sure there are some lower level ones that I can join. Alright. Go ahead and get this. All right, so we got our challenges. Let's look at them. So we need to do all of these. That's going to be quite annoying. So I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. Do I want to like play ahead inside a story without you guys? Or do you guys want me to, you know, just play along with the story with you guys. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Just let me know whichever one you guys want. I don't really care. Because <laughs> if you guys want me to play ahead without you guys, then I will probably be like a higher level and everything and... Because basically, if I play ahead, the next time you guys see me next video, I'm probably going to be a way higher level and have 
higher level units. I'm not going to summon without you guys, though. That, we're not going to do. Uh, let's... Just let you take your turn. Wait, hold up. Crap, too late. It was her turn in anyway. But, that's the thing. I can take out this dude, and my turn will be back immediately. So that worked out. Uh, I'm gonna attack this dude that's up here. Get rid of him. No, don't turn that way. Turn this way. So just cut it. Quite a bit of strats you can pull. With our good old friends, the uh, whole time manipulators and everything. Oh, from this angle, I can just... Wait, what? It just said I was gonna... Okay, never mind. Whatever game. Whatever. Okay, we can finish him off right there. And I'm pretty sure we can finish this dude off up here. Hopefully. Gonna move right here. There you go. Now it's your turn. Hold up. We do got our stun, right? Just to make sure that just in case this guy lives. Okay, there we go. Never mind. He, do he doesn't live. He's not as strong as us. I guess that's it for today, guys. Uh, let me collect my milestones first, you know. Always gotta grab those. We get a lot of XP for that. Alright, so the challenge for this is... Get a unit... Oh, God, no. The next challenge was to get a unit to um, 10, right? Yeah. Gotta get her to 10. Let's do that right now before we end. God, I have more things I can craft now. Except for this. I don't have this. So I can up her job again at 15. Which I'm not close to. There we go. But the thing is, I don't have to go ahead and sorry anymore. Just because I pretty much already unlocked story. So I can just keep doing my dailies into the next video. So I don't actually have to go ahead and story. So we're good. I just don't have hard quests, sadly. If I had hard quests, then I could just do this whole thing and multiplay. I'll figure out multiplay later on. But as of right now, we're going to end it there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out.